You know what else the Golden State Warriors haven't faced? They haven't faced the team that has a high IQ. And when you look at the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics, they both have a high IQ. And you need a high IQ in order to beat the Golden State Warriors. I heard J.J. point, he made a point for us with the communication on the switches and things to that nature when they played the Memphis Grizzlies. And you were right. But at sometimes it was getting them burnt. It was, it was times where they were supposed to switch a high pick and roll with Steph Curry. And Steph Curry was getting wide open looks because they weren't communicating switches. That's IQ. And so when I look at those, that Boston Celtic team across the board, high IQ. The Miami Heat, high IQ. And then on top of that, you have two exceptional coaches, especially in Eric Sposher and Ime Udoka, if you was to have to face one of them, who could put a hell of a game plan together, who have seen, when you look at uh, Ime Udoka, he's seen Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. He just played against Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now you just played against the number one team in the Eastern Conference and had to battle against Eric Sposher if the Celtics go on to win this. So I, that's why I'm picking the Celtics to win. It's just because of their high IQ and their versatility. But the Warriors can't win if they hang their hats on the defense. Let me add this, and then, J.J., I'll give you the last word. You know, <clears throat> good points, KP. Here's the deal, though. Celtics ain't face anybody like the Warriors. Let's go down the list. James Harden is gone from Brooklyn. Kyrie wasn't there half the year. That wasn't the, that wasn't the Brooklyn team it was supposed to be. They hadn't been playing together all year long. You go up against Milwaukee. There's no Chris Middleton there. And so I look at that, and now you're going up against Miami. And obviously, it, listen, I looked at TD Bank Garden, and it was, as far as I'm concerned, that's the wrong name. What TD Bank Garden? JJ was TD Bank Infirmary. I mean, every damn body was going down. They started out the game, Robert Williams was going to be out. This game three I'm talking about here. Kyle Lowry obviously had to go back to the locker room. Jimmy Butler went down. Marcus Smart went down, looked like he broke his damn ankle. Got Trey Young tweeting props to the medical staff in Boston. I don't know what the hell they did to that dude. And then, of course, Jason Tatum looked like he had a separated shoulder before he ultimately came back out. OK, so you had all of that stuff going on with the Golden State Warriors. That's not necessarily the case. We know Gary Payton, the second has gone down. Jordan Poole's there. Klay Thompson is there. Steph Curry is there. Draymond Green is there. Andrew Wiggins is there. Kevin Kevon Looney is there. I'm just looking at the high IQ that KP alluded to, along with their personnel being in place. And. Boston ain't faced nothing like that well, yet. And now they're, and well, they're going to have you, a lot you, more pick. rest potentially if they sweep tonight and the other series goes to a yeah. game seven. Go ahead, Jay. Molly, don't let him off the hook. He what? picked the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Nets had to have something because you actually picked them to beat the Boston Celtics at seven, did. didn't you? Yeah, he did. did. Okay, did. then. Yeah, he so did. they had to have they something got, there. I got, they got yeah. swept. They got swept. Yeah, okay. You know, well, they had to have something that made you per pick. Perk, Perk, I'll work on that montage for I you. I appreciate the reminder because you're just mm. trying to offset what you said about Milwaukee. You had some no, right. no, no. I, I'm I just like, telling I you. Like, I like I'm just bringing what, up receipts, too. Whatever. I like what Perk. I have more. I like what Perk brought up about the basketball IQ part because I talked about this during the Denver series. They didn't have the personnel with high basketball IQ outside of a couple guys to contain the Warriors when they got into their movement sets. Memphis, even as good as they were this season, had so many breakdowns at the end of games. The perfect example of that is Klay Thompson's game winner where Jaron Jackson Jr. is all the way back in the paint when he should be up to switch mm. that, that uh, screening action. Preach. The Heat and the Celtics, they do have basketball IQ. The Heat and the Celtics have great coaching. You talked about, Stephen, you talked about the A game. To me, whoever it is the matchup, both those teams, defensively, communication, they're switching, all that stuff. They've got to be on their A, A game, while at the same time, the Warriors, to have any chance to win offensively, they have to be on their A game. It's a fascinating matchup either way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.